Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. What? Of course, I'm glad you did. Now... I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Why? Do you think you could handle the next steps? No. But <laughs> if you don't want to touch it, why do I? I mean, okay, all right, what, what, what do I need to do? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. Okay. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Okay. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Uh... Apparently. You heard more than I did, apparently. Uh, can I help you? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. Oh? I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? It... I promise not to get in the way. Hmm. I mean, I'd, I'd rather not have a companion, just to kind of... But fine, you're welcome to join. I thank you for your kindness. I mean, we're just gonna, you know, let him die if ever. I mean, we're gonna uh, protect him, right? 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 Oh, yeah, now we have him following... Uh, oh, oh, that's maybe not good. Hey, puppy! Hi! Um, I just need to go check maybe if he would have a bound bow. I doubt it, but maybe? Hey. Hello, Hagraven or Horker. It matters not. We've got the arrows to fell any game. Right. Can I see your wares? What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. Yeah, you're better off not knowing. Ah, uh, no, you have nothing. Okay. Thank you very much for your business. Is it much further to the sanctuary? So, uh, if we want to use our horses, does that mean you're going to walk behind? That means we can't use our horses. Oh, that sucks. Then what's the point? Where do we need to go? We have to go back there? I feel we just got from there. Like, can I tell you to, mm. to wait here? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Well, apparently not. So apparently... I wonder if we should get some shelter. Weird out this rain. What? Why? You have a hood on. I mean... Oh, well... Yeah, who cares? Now, I don't know if uh, we're okay here, but I want to test out... Um, Maybe I should disable that quest marker. It's kind of annoying me. Good. Now... We... What? What are you... Why are you... That's so deadly magic in your Oh. Hands. No. No, no. Ooh, no, no. <laughs> Not my intention, but hey. Oh, I got a dog now! Does it follow me and everything? He does. Uh, does he fight though? Careful with that now. Like there has to be a mud crab around here, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Is that one? No, oh no. Oops, sorry dog. Uh, the left hand, right hand thing kind of really just I don't know why it's so complicated to me, but it is. Okay, why well, can't for the love of God find anything to shoot at which is kind of weird to me i mean usually i always have something wanting to attack me but now apparently we don't have anything all right let's try the fire channel huh? Ooh. oh um <laughs> I won't test it on you, but... Oh, I need something to test it on, but then I'm also scared to bring him anywhere, because if he's not essential, then you might not make it to your destination. Hmm, very interesting placement for that candle. But... I think that... Mm, those hot springs are tempting. What? What are you doing? I'm getting out of here. What? What's going on? What what are you? Victory is yours. I submit. Oh, oh, you're oh, you're going to be like that? <laughs> oh, okay. 
now I see. He's going to be that useless follower that, you know... Well, good to know, good to know. Oh, yeah, okay. So is that... Is that my dog or... Oh, Imperial Patrol Dog. Thank God I didn't shoot at it. Kaiden, are you in there somewhere? I believe we kind of have to... Uh, through here, maybe? I don't know. Do I have to cross the water? Uh, not necessarily. We should have a path coming up. I'm guessing this is the path. Is everybody following? Everybody but Kaiden, of course. <sighs> we are oh! Hey, he actually fights! Good! Okay, I was scared that there was just gonna be a, a follower, like, you know. Oop. Uh. Of course. I mean, why? Why not, right? No, I really thought that that dog was just going to do nothing. But he seems to do stuff. Just good. It's not bad. It's like having a dog follower that's gonna bark over and over again, but it's okay. And Akita thinks that we should go there. Oh? I don't want to hear another word about what you're learning from the Argonian. It's high time you learn to be a Nord, too. Oh? But Mama, he's a half-decent farmer. Ask him to teach you to farm. Hi. Is there something I can help you with? No, I just, uh... Just wonder if you could tell me about the dark water crossing? Not much to it, really. We fish and keep to ourselves. Try to keep from upsetting the Empire or the Stormcloaks. And so far, the war's left us alone. Okay. All right, then. Seven months or so. Maybe eight, if I'm lucky. Excuse me? Oh, just counting the months I have left to live. Wait, what? I used to count by the years. And I suspect there'll come a time when I count by the days. It's a talent I have. Sort of like reading palms. But I do long for the days when I never bothered to count. I'm sorry. I haven't properly introduced myself to you, child. No. My name is Iris the Elder, although it wasn't always meant to reflect my age. Uh-huh. So where does the name come from? I was once one of two irises in the village where I grew up, long before I moved to Darkwater Crossing. Okay. One was about a dozen years younger than I, just a babe when I was a girl. So she was Iris the Younger, and I was Iris the Elder. And the name stuck with me ever since. Okay, so what brings you to this part of the East March? <laughs> Not the mine, that's for sure. I came to this part of East March for the hot springs. Oh. I've heard they have the power to rejuvenate. Well. I'm not searching for a miracle or a cure for old age. Just a little more time to enjoy it. I'm sure your wisdom alone more than compensates for the people of the village. Your words are kind, but a woman of my years is more of a nuisance than a helpful member of the community. Huh? I try to do what I can, help cook or look after Refna, but as much as I hate to admit it, she's at an age when I can't keep pace. So do the hot spring work? Do you feel rejuvenated? Oh, yes. I've tried health potions and visited some of the most renowned healers in all of Skyrim. But it's almost like everything is being forced back into place. It feels so unnatural. Oh. That may be fine for someone like yourself, but I much rather prefer a good soak. All my aches and pains seem to float away. Yeah. Isn't it dangerous for someone your age to bathe in the hot springs alone? The hunters discourage most of the wildlife, as does the heat from the spring. They also provide a few spirits to help pass the time. <laughs> I need a bit of wine before I can get over the embarrassment, you see. Aww. 
Embarrassment? These hunters, their bodies have such sheen and vigor. Like a marble table burnished to a perfect polish. <laughs> My skin, however, is as piebald as a horse and as wrinkled as an old tunic stashed away at the bottom of a chest. May sound a bit odd for an old lady like myself to worry about such things, but while I may be old, I'm still a woman. Mm -hmm. And a woman likes to feel beautiful. I can understand, and also I think you might um, have a, a little eye on some of the hunters, I can imagine. The way you described them and stuff. You know. But I'm sure you were quite the catch back in uh, the Marathic era. And you were quite the Thanks petulant so baby two seconds ago when you asked oh, such no a trouble. rude and disrespectful smart, question. Oh? Your fine. parents should be well, ashamed to have raised to one with such little tact. Well, I'll try to be I may not look it, there. but in my youth, I was also known as Iris the Swift, the fastest courier in all of Skyrim. Well, I didn't see it as such a mean thing. You said it yourself. I'm just going along with your conversation. I didn't mean you're not beautiful now. I just said I'm pretty sure you were a catch back then. I'm sure you still are now. I didn't say anything about you not being a catch today. Jeez. I mean, you are rude. I bet your parents never taught you manners. But I digress. I imagine Curious must be fleet off feet to escape the dangers of the road, right? Eight of foot and single-minded. There's nothing you can't outrun if you just stick to the road and block your mind of anything outside it. The couriers who never make it are always the ones who stop for a breather or just to admire the view. Uh, I mean, I could ask you, but I, I think that will be good. I uh, will, uh, you know, see you another time. Farewell. Farewell. All right, uh, this is... um. I don't know if, if we are supposed to be here. I imagine we could look... Ooh, ooh, look at their stuff. Uh, we can look inside. No, no, we can't look inside. Okay. I used to be an adventurer in my day. Then I settled down. Got married. Right? So you were an adventurer. That's right. I used to explore all over. I'm the one who originally found the mine Darkwater Crossing was built around. Nice. I was actually scouting a bit the other day. Old time's sake. Spite a brigand heading back to his camp. Oh. Up for a little hunting? No. My husband is being a sad stick, so I can't go myself. Uh, right. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. This brings back memories. Come back when you're done, and maybe I'll be up to showing you a few tricks. Wait. Bandits are cowards. Huh? Don't strain yourself chasing them all down. So, how did I agree to a mission? She just said hunting, right? She did say she didn't want to go alone, and then all of a sudden I'm hired to kill a bandit camp thing? Ah, oh, these people. I really don't understand them. Uh, uh-oh. Oh no, I heard that, doggy. I heard that. Oh no. I mean... Right. That oh. wildness has a charm of its own. Ah, uh, apparently. Oh! Oh! Whoa! I win. What do you mean you win? You stood there and let it happen! Dog? I mean, this, this is not a chew toy. I mean, you can make it a chew toy if you want, but I would probably wait till it stops burning. Oh, God. Um... Is this anywhere close to where we're supposed to be? Oh, wait. So, uh, oh, that's not what I want. It seems to be like on the other side here, maybe? Aha. Uh -huh. I do. It really seems like the dragon is up there and I don't know what I discovered because it's so dark. I don't see nothing. Oh, um, I th oh. So we found the place. Okay, guys. Um, are we ready? I guess so. Maybe it's best to go inside. I don't really want to stay out 
face the dragon. Oh. Okay, this is this is a cave cave. How are we going to find a tree in a cave? Why would she send me to a place like this? This just does not make sense. Uh, there's nothing in here. What am I, what am I even looking for? I hope you know what we're looking for cuz I mean I thought we were looking for a tree. Well, oh, technically there is a tree there. Okay. Uh, I was wrong. There are trees and flowers. Uh, oh, okay. There's kind of sunlight. So, wow, that tree doesn't look too healthy. Oh, a butterfly tree. Hello. I will take you. Hello there, friend. Huh? Have you come to enjoy the sights and sounds of this beautiful sanctuary as I have? Truly remarkable, isn't it? Uh-huh. I mean... Um... What? Wait, wait! What? Come back! Dude! Um... What are you doing here? Welcome to Elder Glean Sanctuary, my friend. Yeah? If you have any questions, speak to Asta. Aster? Who's Aster? Hello? Kinnereth humbles us with her beauty. There... Oh, what is that? I'll take that. Ha How can I help you? Hello? Wow, have you ever seen anything so amazing? Huh? Why aren't there more people here? I don't Tours know. must be organized, paintings commissioned. As adventurers, what? it's our duty to show people this tree. What tree? Wait, what? What? Am I? Did, well, I didn't really look around. It is nighttime, so, I mean, but, wait, what? Like, I mean, my duty as an adventurer is to go on adventures. It's fairly self-explanatory, no? Oh, no, the gods made such wonders as gifts to the mortals. If we don't share their splendor with the people, we are no better than heathens. You don't want to be a heathen, do you? I certainly don't. Uh, uh, maybe not. I don't, I don't know. Um, why, why these questions? I was questioning you. So what skills do you possess as an adventurer? Ma and Pa fought for the Empire during the Great War. Although, I don't see what's so great about it. I'm sure it's over my head. They're the ones who taught me everything I know. About battle, that is. It's not like they had to teach me about exploring. That I taught myself. Oh? Although growing up in the Reach helped. First thing you learn is how to deal with heights. After that, dwarven ruins are a cinch. Hmm. So, why didn't you join the guards or, or the military? The barracks have charm, but I want fresh air and blue skies and forests that are woollier than a mammoth. Hmm. Although I guess the barracks is kind of like a forest. There's a lot of wood and bugs and things. We used to call it termites reach. Oh. So what sort of weapons do you prefer? I found clubbing things with the maces pretty effective. And also pretty ugly. Not pretty at all, actually. <laughs> As a soldier of Debella, I have a reputation to uphold. Debella's reputation. Oh. Beauty even in battle is very, very important. And I'll die with a sword in my hands before I live with a mace. Okay. So, do you use a mace or not? <laughs> I'm not too sure about that one. So, were you in Markarth during the Forsworn Rebellion? That happened before I was born. Oh. But I'm not a green thumb, honest. I'm five months past a woman grown. I've killed a bear, drank my first mead, and can pitch a tent if you need it. Oh? Wait. Wait. Mm hmm. Markarth would explain the fascination with the Bella. Oh, that didn't come until after I became an adventurer. I was deep in some nameless cave winding my way down toward the bottom of the earth. Suddenly, the passage opened up, and I found myself in this hidden grotto with a pond and trees and holes in the roof. I don't think my eyes closed for another week. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't sleep. The that beauty I witnessed was ten times more important. I wondered if I'd ever leave my eyes Right. Out. Okay, can I go back to my earlier questions? All right. So, do you have other talents? Other than exploring, obviously. Why, yes. I learned how to play the lute when I was little. Oh. Although I'd much rather play the harp. I'm sure that's what Debella would want. Oh. oh. Okay. 
So, you seem like someone who appreciates nature. Oh yes, the water, the animals, the trees, all clay which develop molds into indelible art. And at the heart of every explorer is an admirer of that beauty. Hmm. Right, true, true, but the Bella beckons me to explore the mortal forms. I do not doubt we mortals make for beautiful pottery, but we see that beauty every day. I want to bring Debella's full portfolio to the world, and to do that we need to be more than adventurers. We must be couriers, gossipers, town criers, screaming from the bell towers while we shower the people with our missives. Right, right, right. So, do you ever explore caves for treasure? Of course. What do oh. you think all this is? It's yeah. more valuable than any gold coin. Exactly. Now if I find a gold coin, and I do find them often, bags of them in fact, I deliver it straight to the donation bowl. What? No! I even have a system. For every ten gold pieces, seven goes to the temple, what? one goes toward food and shelter, No. and one goes to alms for the poor. No. I mean, that's very noble of you, but I mean, um, I have my own system. For every ten gold coins... Ten goes to me. And... Wait. Hold on. That only adds up to nine gold pieces. Oh, I forgot. One gold piece goes to spreading Debella's word. Can you believe the cost of ink and paper these days? One time, I didn't have any gold, so I carved my petition to change the name of Bloated Man's Grotto on the wall of the Jarl's longhouse. Um... The guards were none too pleased. I but really? Understand. Bloated Man? Why yeah. not call it Handsome Man's Grotto? I'm, I'm sure there's a reason behind it, but hey, you want to follow me? I could need your help, and I mean, I see a lot of places, and a lot of animals, and nature, and trees, and plants, and loot. I mean, gold coins. You, lots of gold coins. Of course. Where do we go first? North, south, left, down? It doesn't matter. Wherever we go, beauty and adventure await. Yay! I guess? Yay? Right? Uh-huh. Kinnereth. Humbles us with her beauty. Okay, okay, uh, what about you? Hi. But what could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? And such power? Mm-hmm. I, I really don't know. So, what is this place? You are in Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Yeah, that Just I got. a small glimpse of what beauty Kinnereth has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? Uh-huh, I guess. I mean, and that tree, is that the Elder Gleam? Yes, my friend. Uh -huh. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Oh, why? Uh, why not? As you can see, Eldrigleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. Oh. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Eldrigleam herself would lift her roots for, more out of fear than respect. Oh. You mean this weapon? The rumors were true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. Wait. What? I don't want to harm the tree. So what tree are they talking about? <gasps> oh! That tree! What? It wasn't big enough for me to... Don't roll your eyes at me. I mean, it was easy to miss. I was looking down, and it is up. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, easy mistake. Um, why is it smoking right there? I don't know. Well, okay, um... Meridia's beacon is a very beautiful gem. It almost makes you forget that it's just another kind of rock. Uh, sure, yeah, okay. I don't want to harm it, but I do... Well, I do want to... Uh... Do I... I don't... Oh, do I have to cut it? Can I just jump over it? No. No. I mean, I could squeeze in there if I... Uh, oh, I probably ate too many sweet rolls for that. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's, uh... Probably... I'm guessing that this is what we have to do, right? Uh... No. Oh, excuse me. This is... Okay. Uh... Okay, it's just a little, little pinch, kind of like, hey, move over. I get it. All right. Okay. Uh, though I would love it to be daytime, I do want to see this place. 
and what it actually looks like. And to be honest with you, there's something unsettling about a tree moving. No? <laughs> I had <gasps> no idea you were a woman of violence. Oh, what? What exactly are you intending to do here? What do you What do you mean? What do you mean? I, 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 it wasn't violence. Oh my God! You people are just so kind of. I don't. I don't know. I need to sap to fix the Gildergreen. You would violate this marvel of Kinneret's glory to fix that half-breed stump in White Run? Oh. That's abominable, barbaric. I'll have no part of this. What? Why didn't you tell me what you intended? I thought that's what you wanted. I mean, I, I, I think I understand. I mean, do you have any better ideas? Well, yes. There is something. Unfortunately, that is it for today's episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already so that you don't miss out on the next video. Or you can always check out my other channels for more awesome content. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully I made your day a little better and I will see you all next time.